Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 4. Saison 4 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et And maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 4 of Comme d'Archi, episode 30. Let's start by presenting the famous Penningen School on the topic of the stakes of creation and first with the point of view of Gilles Poplin, now director, who graduated from the school a few years ago. Then let's go on with the contents of the school and its history. A slightly different subject this time, which will interest, we are convinced, architects as much as laymen, and to apprehend the theme of creation on the eve of the year 2023. Because isn't it time to rebound on positive values? Influencing creation. For more than 70 years, Penningen has been writing its history, accompanying students through their creative process in order to turn graduates into key professionals of interior architecture, communication and art direction. Each generation is contributing to the building of Penningen's history, maintaining its principles in order to freely emancipate and be ready. Being at Penningen is the aim of our pedagogy and our method. Each student in a workshop spirit for five years will be guided to find his or her path through work, transmission and exchange with a view to accomplishment. The professionalism practiced at Penningen, thanks to the expertise of all the teachers who transmit their knowledge, is dedicated to the elevation of the students. It is essential that each student entering Penningen and choosing to pursue his or her training be aware of his or her involvement in the school system, perceive his or her role and involvement from the very first symbolic day of the school year, understand the school's values and realize that he or she is the key to his or her own success. The unique model and approach of Penningen's history and uniqueness lie in surpassing oneself. The interior architecture, communication and art direction courses nurture creativity and enhance the value of those who carry it out. Gilles Poplin, director, graduated in 1995. Sharing creativity Since 1968, Penningen has been the undisputed former of great and renowned art directors, communication directors and interior architects. Located in the very centre of Paris, on the premises of the famous Julian Academy, a breeding ground for history and modernity, Penningen places creation and those who embody it at the centre of developments in our society. Our renowned teaching methods support our students in their creative process in order to graduate professionals and undisputed entrepreneurs. Penningen's spirit of workshop life is a link, the strength of a network of more than 3,500 alumni extended in France and around the world. As the great avant-garde artist who studied in the Julian Academy, the legacy of this education is an example of creative commitment. It is a force to answer to technological and conceptual changes in constant evolution. Penningen combines sensitivity and pragmatism, talent and method. Developing intuition and self-confidence, artistic and technical skills from a creative sharing perspective is the strength of our school. From l'Académie Julian to Penningen. Penningen is located in the Académie Julian, founded in 1867 by the painter Rodolphe Julian. The open-mindedness of the teachers and the pedagogy, based on academic practice, stripped of its rigid principles thanks to the methods and virtuosity of illustrious artist teachers, such as William Bouguereau, led to the emergence of avant-garde painters such as Alphonse Muchat, 
Félix Vallotton, Paul Serrezier, Pierre Bonnard, Maurice Denis and Edouard Villard, who founded together the NABIS group in the same workshops of the Académie Julien. During the World War II, the Académie Julien closed all its studios. In 1953, Jacques Dandon and the ceramist Guillaume de Penningen founded a preparatory workshop, which became in 1959 the Atelier de Penningen et Jacques Dandon. In 1968, they founded the ESAG Penningen. In 1990, the school became international, taking part in the foundation of the AIAS, the International Association of Independent Arts and Design Schools, in the premises of the Bauhaus in Dessau, Germany. The aim was to extend and strengthen the network of art schools of higher education of excellence that share common criteria. The school also expanded its influence by joining the Erasmus Network at the European level and then Cumulus at the international level in 1991. The school joined the Studialis Higher Education Group in 2015 within Galileo Global Education. In 2016, Gilles Peuplin, who graduated in 1995, succeeded Alain Rouleau, who nominated him as a director of the school. ESAG Penningen becomes Penningen. Renowned Diplomas The master's degree in interior architecture trains as interior architect, layout of the built environment, control of volumes and spaces, ergonomics, sales spaces, retails, offices, hotels, scenography, theatres, museums, ephemeral places, public and collective spaces. The interior designer conceives and thinks spaces consistent with the brand's aesthetic values and activity from conception to realization. Penningen has been recognized since its inception by the CFAA, Conseil Français des Architectes d'Intérieur. The master's degree in communication trains future brand managers who will be able to join the executive committees, general management, strategic management, innovation management, design management or sales management of companies and their communication consulting agencies in a value-creating dynamic. Within large groups, agencies or in a business perspective, graduates have all the skills and methodologies to put their talent at the service of creative, marketing, design and strategy departments. Creative, autonomous and aware of the issues at stake, they have the profile and skills that agencies and companies are looking for to support societal, ecological and technological transitions with a view to progress. The master's degree in art direction, images and media trains as artistic director and creative director. Image, visual communication, graphic art, press, video, television, cinema, digital design. The art director assists and advises the company in its development project, translates its communication strategy into visual elements, giving it meaning. A strong reputation. Penningen ranks at the top of France's top private higher technical education institutions in art direction and interior architecture. A five-year formation, Penningen trains in art direction, interior architecture and communication. All beginners aged 17 and more graduated with a minimum bachelor's degree. A unique pedagogy. Conducted by lecturers who are all professionals, pedagogy combines academic lessons with contemporary applications in order to develop creative autonomy. From the first year and throughout the five years of training at Penningen, practice and exchange guide the pedagogy and the conduct of teaching. For this reason, students works in atelier, becoming familiar very early with the essential practice of sharing, emulation and mutual aid that stimulate the critical sense. An international network. Regular internships, international school exchanges, Erasmus+, Plus, Camulus, partnerships in France and abroad with other institutions of higher education, famous companies and brands, punctuate the training. Penningen delivers a master's degree in art direction, in images and media, a master of interior architecture and a master's degree in communication. State recognized and certified level one qualification. Most wanted professionals. 
Penningen's unique pedagogy has made it a school of excellence for nearly 50 years. Based on creative commitment and motivation, the aim is based on the student making an independent decision with bold creativity, genuine technical mastery and solid working capacity. The quality of the professional placements of graduates in the functions covered by the certificates reflects a real recognition and a solid anchorage with the corporate and professional world. Professional Partnerships Each year, Penningen puts into place a variety of schools, professional partnerships with companies and renowned brands. This gives students valuable insight into the professional design industry and gives them a chance to take part in real professional design projects. These partnerships, regularly renewed, are not considered as design competitions or tenders, but represent a real opportunity for students to work in a professional design context with specific educational objectives. This interactive professional collaboration enables students to understand and develop design concepts in keeping with the client brief, adapting and implementing professionally based work methods while advancing both professionally and personally. Teachers take on the role of creative director and project manager. Thereby, the school turns into a professional design studio. Discussing the project progress as part of a team, including client feedback, creates a dynamic and positive environment conducive to creativity and productivity. By facing the real challenges involved in a design project, students are able to develop a wide range of techniques and skills and refine their work methods. It's also an opportunity to expand and apply their know-how and creative style in order to find appropriate and pertinent design solutions. Brand Curation Cross-Curricular course, Fifth Year Architecture, Communication, Art Direction Heritage, a tool of modernity, is a theme that has been present in Penningen's teaching for four years now. It places the notion of history at the center of creation, as well as that of ideas, models, brands and institutions. It provides a context for imagining new aesthetic and relational approaches. Students are encouraged to think about the issues of our time, such as the energy transition, recycling or upcycling, production ethics, highlighting know-how, aesthetic coherence, and the balance between boldness and tradition, in line with the identified targets and the new ones to be reached. Evolving rather than revolutionizing. This thematic, in tunes with the times, is inspired by major companies, designers and brands. By relying on history in all its forms, This theme places creation on a continuum. Thus, it inspires contemporary responses, original and unique experiential paths. The brand creation course, taught in fifth year, has been conceived and articulated in order to converge the three Penningen programs, Interior Architecture, Communication and Art Direction, based on the theme of heritage, a tool of modernity. It is on this premise that students are committed to think, design and produce together in mixed teams on an imposed brand on a particular heritage. From cars to sport, from entertainment to NGOs, from music to fashion, each team dives into a specific universe for 18 weeks. Brand curation is a cross-disciplinary program based on the notion of brand and fulfills one of Penningen's major objectives training creative communication experts capable of developing a 360 degrees approach and providing a coherent and global creative response, both individually and in groups. It's the union of three areas of expertise. By combining the three areas of expertise that are interior architecture, communication and art direction, brand curation develops the complementarity of expertise and confidence through reflection, dialogue and exchange. Designing exhibition systems, highlighting pieces or archives of a brand's heritage, developing an exhibition scenography. The challenge lies in the development of a creative direction and in the management techniques of creation. 
Discovering yourself, learning how to position yourself within a team, nurture the spirit of synthesis, as well as develop feedback skills is at the heart of the Brain Curation course. Considering the reflection of a path dedicated to a selected exhibition site, conceiving in coherence the whole event's communication, valorizing both the brain and its exhibition, these are the expectations of this professional partnership called Brain Curation. Content, form and location. A 360 degrees answer. The course format combined with the theme answers a double training objective raising minds while preparing them for professional applications. This demanding final year course is accompanied by a masterclass program that has welcomed eminent experts and brought together the greatest professionals and actors who, by their unique approach and achievements, are in line with the communication and creative context of our contemporary era, such as the British art director Peter Saville, the cinographer and producer Alexandre de Betac, and the designer Erwan Bourulek, to mention but a few. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kamdarshi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.